Top 10 Things to Do in Coimbra, Portugal Once the capital of Portugal all the way back in the 13th century, Coimbra has many impressive edifices, churches, and monasteries dating back to those days. A captivating city with much to offer, its intoxicating mix of history, culture, and art makes for an irresistible and unforgettable trip. 10. Almadina Gate Formerly ruled by the Moors, Almadina Gate was one of the entrance points to the old city and used to be part of the fortified walls that surrounded Coimbra. While most of the walls no longer remain, Almadina Gate is an interesting place to stop by, it now houses the center of the walled city. Here, you can find an interesting exhibition on the history of the walls and the gate itself, and you are sure to learn a lot. 9. Portugal dos Pequenitos A fun place for all the family, the Portugal dos Pequenitos is an entertaining and educational theme park that houses miniature models of all of Portugal's most famous landmarks, monuments, and buildings. In addition to the wealth of many monuments from Portugal, the rest of the world is also represented through landmarks from former Portuguese colonies due to the fact that the park was established in 1938. With a small train also running through its premises, the Portugal dos Pequenitos is a great place to check out if you have young ones with you. 8. Parque Verde do Mondego A lovely green space that is the perfect place to relax after rushing about Coimbra's beautiful sights, the Parque Verde do Mondego lies alongside the Mondego River, a stone's throw away from many of the city's main tourist attractions. A popular place with families, you can cycle along the riverbanks or even take to the water in some of the pedalos available for rent. A secluded and peaceful spot, the park also offers fantastic views of the river and of Coimbra itself, just head to the center of the colorful Pedro and Ines Bridge which joins one bank to the other. 7. Monastery of Santa Cruz The Monastery of Santa Cruz was founded in 1131 and its history is inextricably linked to that of the Portuguese monarchy, the first two kings of the country are entombed within it. Its towering facade is bewitching and manages to look both strong and elegant at the same time, with fine sculptures and carvings lining the entrance. Contained within are a number of fine tombs, and the cloisters are particularly lovely to wander around. A delightful Renaissance fountain lies at their center. 6. Chapel of São Miguel Located in the university, the Chapel of São Miguel dates to the early 16th century and is well worth visiting, despite its plain and unremarkable exterior. While the main portal of the building is beautiful, the chapel's true riches lie within, as colorful 17th-century azulejos coat the walls and ceiling. Drenched in history, there are some fantastic religious paintings on show and also a delightful Baroque organ which is still functioning. The altarpiece is delightfully decorated and, coupled with the eclectic colors and patterns on the walls, it makes the Chapel of São Miguel an important site to visit when you're wandering around the university. 5. Monastery of Santa Clara Avella The hulking remains of the monastery are wonderful to walk around and are remarkably well preserved, considering the fact that they were abandoned and neglected for over 300 years. Located right next to the Mondego River, frequent floods meant that the nuns were forced to leave the monastery, and it now appears partially submerged and sunken into the ground. The Gothic ruins with its crumbling cloisters and dilapidated bell tower now host music concerts and events and a short film tells you all about the history of this interesting and indeed beautiful monastery. 4. Se Vela, Old Cathedral Appearing very much like a castle, Se Vela's towering walls are lined with crenellations and its narrow window slits only add to its fort-like features. While the exterior appears appropriately forbidding, the interior is covered in ostentatious decorations and designs and the Gothic high altar really is special to behold. The barrel vault nave adds to the magnificence of the place and lovely geometric designs and animal motifs decorate the cathedral, while the elegant cloisters are a delightful mix of Gothic and Romanesque styles. 3. Machado de Castro National Museum A captivating place to visit in Coimbra, the Machado de Castro National Museum houses an extraordinary collection of sculptures, altarpieces, paintings and more, and is a must-visit when in Coimbra. Curated from various churches and religious institutions from around the country, the art museum's extensive collection includes the largest number of sculptures in Portugal. With lots of gold jewelry, religious relics, ceramics, and textiles on display, there are plenty of interesting things to see. Some of the artworks date back to the 10th century. 2. Biblioteca Jonina A beautiful Baroque library, the Biblioteca Jonina dates to the 18th century and is named after its benefactor, the Portuguese King John V, who commissioned its construction. 
Located on the Paco das Escolas, where the Portuguese kings once lived, the library lies at the heart of the University of Coimbra in a lovely old building. The interior is absolutely stunning, it is dripping in exotic wood, tasteful decorations, and beautiful bookcases. With nearly 300,000 ancient books and manuscripts dating to the 1500s in its extensive collection, the Biblioteca Jonina is wonderful to walk around and its fine furnishings only add to the refined feel. 1. University of Coimbra One of the oldest universities in Europe, and indeed the world, the University of Coimbra was actually founded in Lisbon before being transferred to Coimbra in 1537. Located on a hill in the center of the city, it is a very popular tourist attraction, and rightfully so, the buildings in which it is housed are marvelous to behold. Originally a medieval palace, over the centuries, Baroque and neoclassical features have been added to the university. It really does look special, with the fine old buildings lining the expansive courtyard at its center.